about recent city development. Definitely. And you're a trooper for being here today. On behalf of the station, we just want to express our condolences to you on the passing of your sister. So thank you for coming on the show today to talk about um, City Council. And actually, the first thing that we want to get started with is um, the meeting. It's been delayed a little bit, correct? Yes, I have been rescheduled for Thursday at 5.30. The reason for that, some of the councilmen are out of town on business. We have one councilman that's ill. And of course, I have to be uh, in my hometown to uh, uh, my sister's uh, rosary and subsequent funeral tomorrow. So uh, we uh, cancel the meeting until and reschedule it for Thursday, Thursday evening. And of course, at that meeting, you have one particular item that you are going to be bringing up, and that is going to be a park that you want to go ahead and try to get going for um, everybody out there. And this is specifically for children with disabilities, correct? Absolutely. I think that we need a park for children that are handicapped and have special needs. And what I like to do is I like to have a park for our children with special abilities, and uh, specifically and exclusively for them. Uh, whether we can make it adjacent to a present park, we're looking at that. But I, what I would like to do is bring the uh, private sector, private businesses to help us with this project. I think our children here in Laredo deserve that. Mm -hmm. I think we could have a very nice park for them. So we'll discuss it on Thursday and see which way we can go. But I'd really like to have the private sector, the local businesses, uh, to help us make this a reality. And what are some of the features that you would like to maybe include in this park? Well, there's certain uh, 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 artifacts that you can have that are specially designed for children, whether it's swings or other things, you know, that children with uh, special needs can use. But, you know, there's an a, a array of, of uh, to uh, 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 toys or whatever equipment that they can use that are specially designed for children with special disabilities. So we're going to look at all that. But I think the important thing is start focusing and honing, uh, honing on, on getting that part for those children. I think they deserve that. And I know that there's other cities that have that. So we'll take a look and see what we can do. But I think this would be great to have the, uh, the business community join the city with this endeavor. And moving on from that, uh, I know that you wanted to talk about Al Roker's visit to Laredo. He came by on Friday and he was here in town to promote Border Town Laredo and to discuss some issues that people might be having with this. Um, you know, again, stress to our viewers exactly what you're thinking about this. Well, let me tell you, we spend about four hours with him. Uh, he's so down to earth. He really wants to make sure, and he made it very clear in the interviews that he had exclusively with you all, that the purpose of the show is to show the sacrifices, the challenges, the dangers that these officers face. Uh, you know, they're not actors, they're just doing their job. And I think that will ex uh, show and uh, portray our city with really dedicated officers that put the li uh, lives on the line every day. And I think at the end of the day, when the people see this series, they're gonna be very proud, as I am, of our police department. But, you know, they face a lot of challenges and there's a lot of dangers. A lot of these officers don't know when they leave at home, that morning they don't know they're going to come back home at night so it's a reality show although he says he's not a reality show but it's real action what they're doing every day to keep that uh, that activity from crossing and spilling over to our side and i think that uh, he'll do a great job i know that the officers will be mm -hmm. going to new york uh, two of the officers will be going to new york and appearing on the today show i uh, declined the visit because i think that these officers, they're the ones that are important. I'm not important. I, and I think that uh, for them to showcase our city as a safe community, I think that's very clear because because of their work, uh, uh, they've, they've been able to reduce violent crime. And that's what it's about. They're very dedicated men and women are our police department, and I'm proud of every single one of them. And, of course, the Today Show airs here on NBC. That show's going to be on A&E, and that premieres next week, so Laredoans can be the judge for themselves watching the show. Absolutely, and it's going to be on the 13th. I think that's when they have the, mm -hmm. uh, the premiere, so uh, Laredo will be featured in a positive way. Well, thank you so much for thank being here today. Much. Mayor, thank you very much. Mayor, it's always nice to see you. Thank you.